Okay, let's call ourselves to order 1008. 1008. I mean 708. Okay. <laughs> Vote to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> okay, our first item on the agenda is uh, uh, a discussion of the town audit. Okay. Leave the floor up to, to you. Just so we've got in front of you, you should have a, a management letter. Yep. yep. And uh, financial statements. Hi, Tony. Nice to see you again. Nice to see everybody. Hey, Tony. Uh, happy to be here. Happy, uh, to, have you. happy to have you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> continue to have good news. The town is, um, is doing well uh, still. As you can see, if you look at page two of the management letter, you can see that um, <coughs> that reserve curve is, is still going up. Um, it's um, too high, though, right? You've tried to you've tried to taper it, but it's still you know it's still doing what it's doing, and and I know you're not intentionally trying to do that, but it's doing what it's doing. And um, so the components of the unassigned <coughs> fund balance, so it's approximately 3.6. Oh, 3.6 million at the end of 2016. And if you look down here, your reserve ratio, little table there, mm -hmm. shows that you're going up. You know, it's, it, the reserve, the actual percentage has gone down a little bit, which is good. Uh, actually, it's gone up. I'm well, looking at it. Sorry. Percent, right? It's gone up to 20, it's up to 26.4 from 22% since 2012. So you, you're well above, a, you know, if you ever had to do the bond, a bond rating or something, you're above the 15%. So, but that includes, so it's a question, that includes things like we have two special purpose stabilization funds. That, yep. that includes that. Yes. yes. I mean, that's going to... Everything. Yeah, yeah, so that's going <coughs> to inflate. That's everything. That's not just free cash. That's everything. Yeah, we're putting money for school buildings. It's hundreds of thousands. I mean, that's going to inflate this number big time, temporarily. Yeah, from what I understand, you're starting to look at pension stabilization. That, Is that something that's you're that's looking that's at? That's correct. So We've got a little bit put away yeah. for that. We've already because, done that. We because haven't looked at it. We've, been, we've done it. Yeah, because even though this looks great, if you look at your liabilities, your pension liability is still... You're, part, you're, you're married to Essex County, which is, not, which is only funded at 51%. So they're down at the lower end, you know, in that lower tier in the state. Right. So even though you've got this, if you look at the pot you don't control, it's not, not as great. So it is good to have these reserves that... Can, that's interesting. So when you look at the, you said the Essex, the one we talked mm -hmm. about, at 51%, that's lower. So what's the norm on other ones then? The high ones are above 70 70 to 80. Um, the very low ones are probably 38 to 45. So you're 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 not quite at the at the bottom, uh -huh. but you're you're not in a great place. You're not in a great place. You know, I. In, in, in the driving force <coughs> of those is investments or, or bad choices by them or the market or what? I mean, what makes you get to 80 percent if you know what I mean by that? Because everybody's putting in the percentages of their employees. So the only way that grows is through investment. Right? Through, through investments or you put in, um, if you adopt a quicker funding schedule. I think Mike Bertino tried that. And they, they would not let that, us. We they, were, they wouldn't let you we, do it we because were, you're in the group. We actually yeah. wanted to even put more money yes. into, the, and they won't let into you. Essex and, and they would not let us. Sidebar. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, in Essex. They didn't know how to deal with it. The, there's, yeah. there's three of them in the state, Barstable County, Middlesex County, and Essex County, that for some reason have really trailed some of the other uh, retirement systems. And well, years ago, though, the, <coughs> the retirement board wasn't doing a particularly good job in Essex, too. I mean, the director was... There was some issues with yeah. that, they yes. Changed, they did change that. Yep. Yeah, they changed that. Um, a lot of them have moved into Frit as opposed to having all these different money managers, because then when you have all these different money managers, you have to pay <coughs> them all. And so some of them were paying a lot more in fees uh, to manage their money than, than other counties were, uh, uh, other pensions were. So, so there's a lot of different things that went into. Uh, choice in investments was definitely you know, on the list. Um, and, and your funding schedule. So those are the basic reasons. Because you're right, you just take you know, if you started in 1994, you get a certain percentage taken out. That's that's it's a formula. Same, it's the it's same, same formula, percentage right? No matter right. In any kind, every county. <coughs> so that's why I, I, it's interesting to me that 
that we would be forming at a 51, because we're only 51, yeah. and somebody could be at 80. And how do you, yeah, okay, it's for another day, I'm sorry. <laughs> we got more. It we always got, just interests me. We, we got some of the bigger communities that belong to Middlesex that are, that are actually researching potentially leaving Middlesex and having their own system. Really? Uh, these are the bigger ones. You guys could never do that. You're way too small of a community. But there are some of the bigger ones that are so disappointed with what's happened with, with the pension over at Middlesex that they're saying, hey, we're big enough to have our own pension system. So they're, they're actually researching. Big enough, like, it would be Burlington be big enough, or it would have to be something like Queens? No, no a Burlington, Stoneham has their own. Okay. Um, Burlington would definitely be big enough. Winthrop has its own. Okay. So these are towns that are about, you know, Win Winthrop is about a 40, $45 million budget. Mm -hmm. Okay. I you just, know. I'm with, we need the economics of scale. <coughs> You, know. you couldn't do it. No. Yeah, you could never do it. It's just it's too small. small. The fees, the, the fees would be worse than. The it it would yeah. it would yeah it would I would never recommend it for for you folks to to secede and have your own retirement office. <laughs> so got to deal with the blows. Um, so the good news though is for the taxpayers, if you look on at the top of page three, is you still have a decent levy capacity. So you, you walk in that fine line where the reserves are growing, but you, your levy capacity is also growing. So th that's a really good position to be in if you, if, you, if you are a taxpayer in this town, that you're not being taxed to the max to get these reserves. There's, there's actually a, in the 16, there was a 4.3% break uh, on a tax savings. So, so we um, can't even have that reported to the press. I know. I looked, <laughs> it was funny that you said that. I just looked up to <laughs> see if she was there at the same time. So, so again, a lot of towns will tax to the max, Correct. and their reserves are high, but they haven't done that ba that balance. I think I think this is a good balance here. I, I, I really do. So um, your OPEB it has now exceeded one hundred percent of you. So that went to one point seven. If you look on page forty six of the big big report, the thick one. Yeah. And this is something the town can be very proud of because you're still the only one in the state that's fully funded on OPEB. And um, we, we made that comment. Um, we went in, Mike and I went into the uh, state house today. We had, we had legislation of getting a town manager, and that was part of our presentation. That you know, even though we're fiscally, you know, in good shape and so forth and so on, and we're the only town in Massachusetts that we have a fully funded OPEB. That must have impressed him. Yeah, well, one of them said, then why the heck do you want to change? <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. He goes, because it looks too good. Why do you want to change things then? Yeah, so if you look on page 46, if everybody's there, you'll see that your assets have now exceeded your liability. You're at 111%. So it'll be interesting to note, uh, Andy, I don't know if you have it on your schedule for this year, but the uh, OPEB is due yeah. for this yeah. fiscal year. Yeah, he, we've, we've funded a, a study, yes. So it'll be interesting to see what's happened to the actuarial liability. I think it's got to be better. The market has done, last couple of well, years, yep. it's done well. So it's probably going to be even Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll be interesting. Better. Yeah, I'll be interesting to see that. How, when will that be done, by the way? Uh, we'll get it going uh, somewhere in the summer. It's got to be at least mid-April. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. So and the money's not even appropriate. It won't even be done ready to be expended until July 1st anyway, correct? Right. Mm-hmm. So it'll probably be uh, around August. <coughs> it would be interesting to see how that. No, I'd be I'd be real curious because it's been three years. So, so we'll see how that um, that works out. So what? I suppose that <coughs> what? I mean, this is a hypothetical. What if that grows to like? 1.5 times w its necessary amount. What, is there something? You can actually start drawing on it to pay your retirees. That's what we should be doing. Health insurance benefits. So instead of budgeting for that, you can actually take it out of your OPEB if you get to a good spot. So that's why I'm interested. Oh, in oh, you mean the 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 day to the day to day right costs today. right now? Uh, yeah. Right now you're at 111 percent. If I, if you got to say 120, I would say. We're, talking, Let, we're doing it today. You're doing it now. You're, are you yeah. drawing out now? No, that's what I'm asking. What's wrong with it if, if we're at 111? I would suggest we wait for the actuarial study. Just to yeah, see what yeah. happened. Okay. Because I mean, we all say the market's great, but we don't know <coughs> what they're investing in. They could be whatever, and, and it could come let's, back at 101, even though it's great, but then that's not enough to take out. Right. 
Right. So let's include that as part of the results when we when we get the results prior to the schedule. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, but, so again, do you re recommend um, to like do we might recommend budgeting? I mean, bringing it down to like 105. Like you say, okay, we can start growing money from it and paying for our expenses this year because our investors have been doing so well. So like what Joe said, well, let's do it now. It's a, at 111. Let's go. Hypothetically, just say it all came in and we got 111. <coughs> so do we take it down to 105? Do we take it down to 100? What do we do? We you, you could. I mean, you could. Is it's, there a, is there a it's, formula? As long it? as you don't drop below 90. So if you're in that 90 to 110 oh. or higher range, okay. mm -hmm. you're in a spot where you can start doing some, some strategic things with that plan. That, that, that you ought to think about because you don't want it growing to 150 percent. It doesn't. No, we don't. It does you no good at, at 150 percent. No, we have a current expenses. We could be using it. Already. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, any other questions on just the overall operations? No. Nope. Okay. If we push along to page four, just a couple of informational items. <coughs> um, so there's the the pension liability, which is 6.7 million. At the top of the page, that's now part of your financials. This is the second year. And there you can see, there, there's the answer, Glenn, that you're looking uh, for. Look at the second paragraph. Yep. You're, you're not fully funded until 2035. So, so, so if, if 15 bucks, they push that out. <laughs> yeah, they could. They can go to 2040 if yep. they want. Yep. So I was, in, uh, I was in Marlboro the other day uh, doing a study for them. And they're at... They're at over 70% funded, and they're at 2027. So that is, that's a big driver right there. Is you get an eight-year mm -hmm. difference, <coughs> and, um, and that results in the lower. But that, that there has to be some type of um, return on that 2035. So that has to be, what, was it 7% or something? What is uh, it? What eight. Is it? Yeah, so seven point seven five, I think. Yeah, seven point seven five. So we're hoping we're hoping to be fully funded by two thirty five, if the fund if you makes yes seven point seven five annually. That's right. That's a stretch right Which now. Which I always think is that's aggressive. Too optimistic. That that's a stretch right now. Most yeah, of yeah. So that's that, that's not even. I mean. Yeah, it I'm, sounds I'm, realistic, but that's not realistic. Do you think? Nope. No. 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 There's a lot of push right now to get these funds to go down. To between seven and seven point five, because seven point seven five eight is a stretch, and that little difference makes a big difference. It does over the course of twenty years. It does. It yeah. makes a big difference. So our your third paragraph there, we do we do <coughs> we have made a, a, a yeah. retirement stabilization account, and so now we've got a hundred in it. Okay. So we're, we're putting trying to put. 50 a year, or more if we could, but at least 50. Yeah, Some, yeah something. Um, and then if that gets large, what you can do when you get out to 2000 and the 2020s, you can start drawing from that to help pay your assessment. Oh, I see. You okay. see what I'm saying? So yeah. you build that stabilization fund up, and then you start drawing from it to help pay your assessment. So um, yeah, and good years you could draw it. Yeah, no, no, you, you, you're in a good, you're in a good, the town's in a good situation to do some of these out of the box type, type of things. Um, good. And speaking of OPEB, there will be a new GASB that's coming out in, in 18. Um, don't think it'll impact you guys too much because you're fully funded. <coughs> All right, so on page five, we've got some of the observations, uh, findings, and recommendations. There was a free cash vote. Uh, for 100000 it was put on the wrong page in the tax recap. So instead of reducing the levy, um, it actually didn't really do anything. It just it got put on page four instead of page two. So it, the, the intent of it was to reduce the levy by 100 but that never happened. So how was that corrected? Uh, it wasn't corrected. That was corrected in 2017. So you guys did do something at the annual meeting? Okay. So it's behind us. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that was a learning process for us. <coughs> okay. So that's that's all done. Cash reconciliation is good news. The um, the reconciliation we've had since I've been here 
is was down to a thousand dollars. It was less than a thousand dollars, which is uh, a really good accomplishment given that it was over fifty thousand. That was a big issue back in thirteen or fourteen, right? Mm -hmm. So that's um, we can close the door on that. Um, the, the insurance withholdings, there, there does appear to be like a deficit. And, and I know if that continues, that's something you should probably consider putting on a tax recap. It's, um, I know some of the smaller deficits are, are gone, but the, the health insurance withholding seems, seems to have gotten a little bigger. And uh, not, not out of control, like I've seen it really large in some towns. But that's something that, you know, depending on what it is or, or how far back you want to investigate that, that's probably something that maybe have to be raised on the tax recap. Okay. So, um, chart of accounts is a repeat comment, uh, and this is kind of a little. You got to kind of walk a fine line here because your software company just got just got bought by another company. Uh, so, Softright, which you use, got bought by a seller. So, the future of, of this software is not 100% certain where, where this is going or what they're going to do in the next couple of years. But your chart of accounts is, it, it, like when Andy first got here, he'd call me up and say, hey, do you know where this stabilization account is? And I'll be like, yeah, it's account number eight, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, well, why is it there? You know, like we, it's just things are in places where they shouldn't be in the, how do we fix that? You have to build a new chart. And We've had this comment for a few years, but the question is, do you spend the money to bid now build a new chart when, what if something happens with this software company? So that's something that, that how, we need to. Right. It would work out uh, timing-wise. By then, they'll probably make up their mind. Would Would there be um, suppose that this one this one uh, is not supported? I, is there a, a way of is the, the, a conver a conversion, or you have to enter everything from start all over and start from scratch? Money uh, hypothetically, it, it, that should be for a chart of accounts. That should be, yeah. It, it, like what Archie said, it's not it, they find out they merge it, and that's not the most popular one. And they like the other two, and they see them growing with the other two over the next 20 years. Is $45,000 enough to be able to switch to another? I would imagine is the seller would have to give us a tax break to have the two different services, right. I would assume that yeah. they would do that. That would be a marketing thing anyways. Hey, Otherwise, you could go to like, well, we're not going with you at all. Yeah, yeah we'll go yeah. to the competitor. Exactly. Right. Right. Who knows? It's a little messy right now, and a lot of communities that were on SoftRite are in. SoftRite made a huge hit in Massachusetts. They started about eight or nine years ago. Not sure exactly when you guys got it, but they really started marketing and hitting communities hard. There's... They were in over 100 cities and towns in Massachusetts. So this is a big, big issue in Massachusetts right now, not just you guys. Okay. And uh, everyone's kind of waiting to see what a seller <coughs> is going to do. And the only other really game in town is Munis, but Munis is a fortune, an absolute fortune. So, um, you know, I would I they just, I, Yeah, they're a much better product, but hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh. And you, you, it's not really. <coughs> I would assume, uh, yeah, as soon as they get you in there, then what are you going to do? Okay. Okay, and then lastly, uh, I don't know if you got a chance to look at this, a a Andy, but um, the agency escrow account, and this is for planning board deposits, had 94000 in it. The bank account had one hundred and fourteen. dollars So um, those, should, those should equal. 
So there was a difference there. It was something that I had suggested uh, be researched. I don't know if you had a chance to look into it. So this is the this is uh, this is not the account for in lieu of uh, right. This is just the deposits, right? Yeah, when, if the contractors are doing a development in town, they have to give you a certain amount of money in case right. they do some damages or, or if they pull out of the project, uh, that the town may incur a loss, so you build up this fund. Like a road. Yeah, it's exactly, positive. exactly. Kind of that. That, yeah, okay. Driveways, roads, sidewalks, they gotta give you a deposit. So what they do is they give you the deposit, they're supposed to get it back at the end of the project. But at all times, the bank account, the money that's in the bank, should equal the account that's on uh, the town accountant's general ledger. And well, it's, at least it's better this way than <coughs> the other one. The other. Yeah, it is. The uh, bank has more sure money than the, we say yeah, what they do, nine, yeah. Something thousand, but we really have 114. There's 114 in the bank. What could have happened is you could have paid some guys off and never made the transfer out of the bank account. To, because your checking That's, account. I get you. Okay. Your checking account is what pays the contractor, so you could have paid some. Forgot to transfer. But not transferred it out of the bank. So that's well, something. come out of free cash, but not. <coughs> no, no, it doesn't no, affect the free operating cash. account. It, 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 our, our operating account. Yeah. <coughs> okay, our operating You'd have to take it out of the um, operating bank account if that's the case, and I think that's probably what it. That's normally what it is, but it, it's definitely something I would um, okay. recommend. Uh, the other thing, while you're at it, Andy, uh, is that. Check the list of what these are. Are if there are some old ones where guys have gone out of business and never claimed it, you can do what's called an abandoned property uh, on that, and that becomes income to the town. So, say some of these go back to the '90s, which I find when I start, you know, digging into these, the towns can say, okay, well, that guy went bankrupt. That guy passed away. He's not alive anymore, and you can actually do an abandoned property if you can't or unable to return. Uh, those funds. That does seem like it's tailing. It's tailing. It kind of yes. seems unfair. Yep. Yeah. That, that, that <coughs> seems, um, that seems like a lot of money to be there. Are there that many projects happening in that town? That, that would explain the flood of deposits. For this town, it seems like a lot. Yeah. So I'm imagining you've probably got some old ones oh. that have accumulated, is what I'm imagining. Did but you have to look into it. I, mean, I, I have to that. say, I've never heard that idea before. So <laughs> right. Have you, Joe? Or? Well, that, that there might be old ones yeah, no, hanging it around. Could, it could be some of the big developments too, because there have been a couple of those. Yeah. Yeah, but Chip Hall gave all, we, we gave Chip's money back, right? For the road, right? So we gave everything back on the road. Or, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. That could be, could be even deceptive in that. I don't know. Check it out. Yeah, until we look at it. We just don't have that much. <laughs> right. <laughs> we know what's going on. Right. That just seems like a lot of money. You kind of know what you owe who. Even that road, which I thought was a good one, that was like 25000 wasn't it? For Chip? More yeah. like, I think it was like thirty-five or, yeah. 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 That seemed bad. That's the biggest one on there. How does that, how did that come about with us? Was that all claimable? That's not the same. That was the road because we're in charge of the road. No, I, I know. I'm just using it as a scale, like where this money, you know. But the other possibility is that some money was deposited in that account that was claimed. See, that's why I wondered if it, any of it was the the money in lieu of in lieu of the, you know in lieu of building the where affordable housing. How much is there? Where is that? A, where, where, how it, there's one that says one deposit. That's needed. And needed. Mm -hmm. And then it turns it, it turns over to the town to try to recover it. So you, uh, the planning board has a bylaw that when you're doing a um, subdivision or whatever, in lieu of um, in lieu of building an affordable house, yeah, you, right. can, you can give the planning board X amount of cent in money. Could be that. Instead, of, instead of building that affordable house in the subdivision, and that is intent to be used for low income housing, okay, and town and so forth and so on. So there is a, a maybe it's getting mixed up then. See, I'm wondering if some uh, of that got put in there. Yeah, maybe it's getting mixed up. I, I mean, it's definitely worth researching because we talked about how getting it out when we were on the CPC. 
We need to have a, trust. we haven't even created a place to, yeah, the land to, trust, to, to, whatever, to, be able to, to use it anyway. yet. I don't know what it is, but. Oh, well, been in okay. There, nobody knows where it is, and they don't know how to put it. Well, that's something, sort of good news that we can look into, yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Any other questions? No. Nope. Okay. Any, o any other things we should look into? Yeah. Do you things we could be doing that we're not doing? I think um, one of the things we should talk about is the first management letter we did was 10 or 12 pages, and there was a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. So we've come a long way in those three years. There's been a lot of, you know, you, you put some new, um, new personnel in, in those offices. Mm -hmm. um, both those guys, I thought, did a great job cleaning, cleaning everything up, getting on the right track. Uh, Andy's continuing in, in a good situation. He got left with a good situation. And uh, I haven't met the accountant, but from my understanding, she's doing a pretty good job as well. So uh, I expect the town to maintain, you know, this level of good of efficiency. Okay. Good. Good. To hear. <coughs> good to hear. So good news. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Thank Tony. You. Thank you. <coughs> well, um, uh, you know how we Glenn has one question. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to pick your brain here. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> you're not. Th this is a one-time payment, right? You're not on billable hours, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, give Andy I'll, the, I'll, give Andy, I'll give Andy the bill on the way out. <laughs> I'll talk all night. But um, so I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but we voted and um, we're going to be changing our yep. government to town manager. Yep. Uh, in form of government. Basically, kind of the same. But is there anything like uh, that you because when you come in next, you'll be dealing with that type of thing. Is it something that changes in our thing? Is something that we need to maybe address or even keep on the fork? You know what I mean? Maybe well, the thing, thing that the thing that I find when you go to town manager is is a little bit of a, um, a culture shock for you guys because you lose a depending on how you wrote the mm -hmm. the, the legislation, the yeah. charter, you, you lose you lose power. You're giving the town manager much more uh, we want him to have or him or her to have day to day uh, operations. Yeah, so so they'll have the ability to do a lot more. So be prepared for that. I don't know if you guys you know wanna Fine. micro and control or if you just want to step back and mm -hmm. and oversee. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's the biggest thing I, I see. I see some selectmen get have second thoughts about wow, what did we just do? Now this this guy's off hiring who he wants and, and doing what he wants. So one of the things when you're going through the hiring process is to still, even though you're giving this person power, is to still emphasize the team approach. Mm -hmm. That you can't just go out and, and, and hire whoever you want. We still want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. We still want to have uh, these these meetings. Uh, but that that is the biggest uh, thing because I assume he's going to be your procurement officer. No, um, uh, town Mike, Mike, to Mike is still our procurement officer. So so that that that's good. So there's a segregation there. Um, but but like I said, that is the that that is the biggest thing. It's just a little bit of loss of control. There, there will be an adjustment for what we are currently used to. So you're right. But I'd use the example of the police chief. I mean, that's a strong chief, so he has the authority to make decisions. But you know, we have a good, you know, day to day work. Working. We we talk about things frequently. Because like where wherever you were today, mm -hmm. they said. Why are you changing it? Yeah, we were, look we look were at what's at here. You, you guys are Senate. you guys are doing a good job. Is that gonna? We want to make it better. You know, hopefully that makes it better. And I, I've seen it work really well, and I've seen it not work well. So it all depends on who you select. So go through that process very carefully. Um, and uh, on the accounting side and the money side, we're not going to change it. Uh, are you, you're not going to have a finance director, right? Or are you still well, going to have? It's going to be milled into both. You can have a treasurer collector. Yes. Yeah. And a town accountant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And a town manager. Yeah. yeah. And so a, now and an assessor. So now the treasurer collector and the town accountant both report to the town manager. Yes. Correct. But we hire the accountant. You they, hire the accountant. They yeah. they do not. They hire the treasurer collector. Okay. So the town accountant's going to report to no to the town. We have a hi hiring authority. Okay. Everyone rolls up to the town manager. Okay. Well, and then he then. It all falls back to us. <coughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. So now the thing, um, the thing you have to also now watch is treasurer collector accountant relationship, because right now where it's finance director treasurer collector, 
the town accountant reports to the finance director. So there's, mm -hmm. that, there's that element of, you know, we can force things to happen. Once you start to separate that, it's, it's a little more difficult to, to mm -hmm. make things happen. But if you have the right people, it works. Right. If you have the right people, it works. And nobody's elected in that process, you know, yeah. thank God. So that, that eliminates the political uh, side of it. Uh, but it's worked very nicely down, right down the street in Salisbury, which we've done for a number of years. It's worked very nicely down there. So Good. All right. No, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sorry that we took more of your time, but I okay. appreciate it. Thank you. Because it's nice to hear from people that are yeah. familiar. We, we have a concept, and I think it goes well in the town has one, which is we listen to the town, the employees, and so forth. We're doing it in, 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 in the strength behind it. We're not doing it for a particular reason to make, because we have some deficiencies somewhere we want to try to fix them. We want to make a successful town even better by yeah. having somebody there from day to day operations. Thanks for coming in, Tony. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. You don't know what you're showing us? I thought I was subtle. Hmm? I thought I was subtle. I said I thought I was being subtle. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. <laughs> I, can your body, I can tell by your body language when I've talked enough. <laughs> okay. Um, we'd like to move things out of order uh, for for one small item to, to do the uh, the payroll and invoice warrants. Um, so, um, no, uh, so any, uh, I have a question, I do have a question about the, uh, um, the payroll first. Um, so that's been changed. Okay, uh, there was a, there was a, there was an item that uh, should have been on the uh, selectman's account and had been put on planning. So that's corrected. Um, that's the payroll. Uh, so I want to make a motion I on. I move to approve the payroll warrant. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Two zero one uh, invoice warrants. Okay, I, that was answered. To what, what was that? I had a question about an invoice for the police department, and they were uh, purchasing uh, cameras for the evidence room. Oh, to pre to prevent. Um, there's been some issues in with police departments having evidence. Uh, right. Just so, just so everybody knows, the question on that there was an invoice, and it wasn't clear from the invoice what was being purchased. So, asking for clarification. Okay. okay. Uh, next. So that's, just, that's a camera for the evidence room that will go back to the main. Um, to dispatch. To dispatch and be recorded. So yeah. Just going through some security. Yep. Yep. Okay. There you go. Um, I had a question about an invoice for um, a virtual town hall and so I, I don't know if um, it looked like it was a, a, an invoice for the next fiscal year and that's what I, I was um, wasn't quite sure about. It's billing like a month in this year and 11 months in next year. Is that what it is? Yeah, the date is... Um, no, this one this one is seven one twenty seventeen to six thirty twenty eighteen. No, that is next year. That's the fee that we're paying. So do, don't we have do they like you to get the bills out ahead of time? But we can't pay bills for next fiscal year with this fiscal year, you know what I'm saying? Is no, that your question? That shouldn't happen. I think somewhere between October and uh, I think it's sometime dropping in the police department. But it's uh, previous year was paid the same way. I, I see your point. And it but is that new 
did we have virtual town hall for that extent for that level there? Yeah, yeah. What I can do is I can call her tomorrow and ask her to commit them to that and make sure that's what it's done. Okay. When it was billed last year, yeah. Uh, okay, so it's si similar question about okay. Um, Uh, similar question about uh, the police department scheduling, um, and this is what you just just talked about, Andy, uh, software. But that one at least starts in um, six thirteen, so it's mostly in the next fiscal year. But at least it's starting in in this in the, right. in, the in the yeah. Okay. Uh, and finally, so, so your <coughs> your question is why this was June. This was the, the invoice date is on June first. Yeah, but the, the the stuff is is actually being done. The service is being provided next year. The year it's being charged for. Yeah, I understand. So they might have just sent their invoice so out a month earlier. Yeah, th that's fine. It's just the year it's being charged for. Yeah, so they could bill it a month ago. That would yeah, so you just want to send the check in the year, not send the check, charge the account the correct year. Correct. It's like, you know, magazines or whatever. They want to get paid three yeah. years in advance. It, yeah. It's so easy we money. We need to pay that in full. Right. Um, do you, this one, um, I don't know, did you write this one, Joe? About the library uh, yeah. friends thing. Do you know what that one is? It says, why are friends group billing the town for paper? Um, why, yeah, why are the friends of the library billing the town for paper? Yeah. I don't know. That's, it's a good question. What's it say at the bottom, Glenn? Um, in order to get the bill paid timely, which has been a problem in the past, the friends front the money for the receipt paper purchase through Amazon.com. The price through Amazon uh, inconsist uh, in considerably cheaper than other vendors. So, <coughs> could this would this be eligible for the um, for the town credit card in in the future? Could sure. the friends don't have to do that. Yes. Well, we we order you order stuff on Amazon. What I don't understand what the yeah, issue so is. They, they might want to say this. So I don't know. If this maybe they don't even know yeah, they can do that. More of a, yeah, maybe yeah. it's more of a counseling problem here, and just tell you know there's not a problem that we can use, right? And that's what we use it for, so we can get cheap. That's what we got the credit card still because more things are going online, and it's we can save the town money by. Right, they shouldn't have to use the friends' money. Right. To, yeah. To front their kind of paper purchases. And when I when I go to a uh, new uh, yeah, sorry. position, I'll yeah. ask certain questions like that. And the answer is yes, that's the way it has to happen. <laughs> you know what? That I doesn't understand. matter. That's okay. But television is a lot easier way that we have it. Uh, uh, you know that the card that has to be authorized. You know, uh, but it would have to be that she can't. You know, the same authorization has to happen from. The Board of Library Trustees have to authorize her to get the credit card from me to make a purchase or however they want to schedule it like that. And they have to do it that way. There might be other things that you could save money doing it that way too. Okay, I make a motion to approve the uh, invoice warrant. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Have a good day. Have Safe a good travels. Night, Andy. You too. Okay. Thank you, Pat Kamara. Uh, we'll go uh, back to the to the uh, agenda, and now we're going to hear about uh, the Energy Committee talking about the Energy Grant Proposal. Thank you for coming in, Luke. Um, Rick couldn't be here tonight, so just have me. Uh, uh, there are two items, actually. Um, one, and then 
one maybe for Mike, but there are two grants. One is the grant that um, MVTC is applying for that they're going to be, um, like last year, providing the committee assistance in, uh, in uh, scoping out projects for green community grants. Is that the $5,000? That's the $5,000, and uh, I just wanted to check on that because I think the MOU needs to be signed uh, yeah. tonight. Makes sense. Yes. So just want to check that. Okay. Make sure I, you're aware we, we of that. We have that right there. Okay. Okay. I move to approve the Memo of Understanding between the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission and the Town of West Liberty in the amount of $5,000. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Also in the right of September 5. Any other items of the council? And then one other council, yeah. Okay. That was easy. Okay. <laughs> There's one thing. <laughs> uh, so. See, no, we're happy because that, the brick, that would have been a 20 minute long conversation. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is actually, this works well. <laughs> he may be home watching you. Oh, uh, sorry. sorry Rick, Rick. Rick, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> um, so the second is also related to a grant, but this is um, a grant that's upcoming. It's uh, Department of Energy Resources has a new set of grants um, focused on resiliency, um, and they have a solicitation out now that we are interested in applying for a, a grant that would uh, result in a feasibility evaluation. So there's no commitment at this point. Is this the micro grid? Yes. Okay. So I think um, maybe you could explain what a micro. Right. Is. Okay. So uh, I think Rick had sent an email, kind of describing um, a, a proposal or a, a concept, which would be to um, create a uh, resilient microgrid for the town campus, so the town campus being this building, uh, the senior housing, the public safety building, and the annex. And the microgrid would, this would be a step towards um, resiliency in, in the event that the town loses uh, power for some significant period of time and is um, housing people potentially at the annex and providing emergency services on this campus. So how, would, how does that work? Resilient? So it, it the microgrid really is that um, the, you have a grid that services those buildings without having to rely upon the, the national, national grid's power. Um, it would have different components to it and um, it, it, we, the way that, uh, the concept for this microgrid would be that it would have some solar uh, PV, uh, most likely solar canopies in the parking area, but it could also be solar PV in, in the buildings in this area. Um, it could also have a, it would have battery storage. So that's um, the backup. That's the backup. Um, it could also have a fuel cell uh, so that natural gas could be converted into electricity. So if, if natural gas were still available, um, you could have the fuel cell that would uh, be part of it. That doesn't have to be part of it, but that could be a component. And um, the, the good thing about it, um, the difference between that and just having the town purchase a backup generator is that in the times that you're not needing to use it, which is most of the time, um, it would also be net metered and uh, providing energy uh, to the town. So to offset what's going on happening. To, right. But aren't so we already net metering with that big solar Well, we're field? virtual net metered with the system up there. Because so we can't over, we can't net meter beyond what we use. Uh, well, you could then get credit for if, if we were potentially producing more than we're using. But. And what do we do with the credit? You, you exchange it for uh, money oh, we to get paid for it, yeah. Someone else <laughs> might want the credit. Right. Yeah. So you get the credit. Okay. Sell the credit. <coughs> okay. So um, this grant is, uh, the, the state is, is promoting uh, the towns looking at um, where they are in terms of resiliency and taking steps in that direction. Um, the grant is for feasibility evaluation. And I think there are 
$5,000 grants and $12,000 <coughs> grants. We aren't exactly sure which of these, and I think, I think uh, you may have been forwarded the application, but there are three categories um, that this type of project um, uh, hits. So we're not exactly sure which of the three would be most appropriate for this. I think you can only apply for one. Um, the can, I, can I ask you a question yeah. you can't answer? Um, to, well, no, I mean to set to a, a microgrid for what you just described, and the reason you can't answer because she doesn't know what it is, so they haven't done the study. But like, how much money are we talking about like in a range of numbers? Is it, because I have no idea, you have a little bit of an idea. I don't know if I have an idea of worth, worth putting a dollar figure on it. I really, I really don't know. I think part of, part of what this would do is then um, set us up for additional green communities grants to pay to for part of, for part of the oh, microgrid system. I like that system. green community grants to pay for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's this good. is just a grant. This is to, to yeah. see yeah, is this that. is this pie in the sky or doable right. basically. And what what you what you get with this grant is you get the an expert's help to do the feasibility evaluation. Has has anyone else? I, I asked Rick this uh, one thing, and he said that, that there is somewhere. But has anyone in Massachusetts has anyone done anything like this as a community in in Massachusetts? Not the feasibility study. But you mean the end result? Yes. The microgrid. Um, he said there was. I think a, there is a, one in a, Worcester. A private co a corp a company that, that had a similar thing, yeah. Yeah, I think, I, not many. I mean, if, if there's just a handful, uh, it's, it is a pretty uh, new concept. And I think, what, I think Rick has had conversations with DOER, and they're very interested in this. See, I, they I, like I, that it pulls all these pieces well, together. What I, I asked Rick, well, we're a small town, and maybe we could be, a, if it, if something seemed interesting about it, maybe they would take us as, as a pilot project right. because we're a very small community. Maybe they, we'd be like the 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 demo community if they if they could use it in that kind of situation. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think on the plus side because it, this project. Um, has components of three different areas that they're interested in giving money for. Um, I think that that kind of indicates that they might look favorably on this project. Uh, they might say, oh, West Newberry is not as vulnerable as other towns, so um, let's spend our money somewhere else. You know, they might, they're, they're focused on coastal communities, you know, that are, are they should come right. here when it's when the trees are coming down. Right, but they but <laughs> they may say they may say um, you know it is a good pilot because it's not as complicated as trying to do it somewhere else, mm -hmm. and and they might want to try cost it. Out. This applying for this too would not cost the town any money. No, it's the grant is there, and they just give us information. The, right, the grant is there. We would use uh, uh, in order to apply for the grant. We may have to um, get some. Uh, bids from uh, experts. You know, what would this, what would it cost to do this feasibility evaluation to put that into the grant? Um, can the, can you do this? It, it's only the d deadline's only a couple of weeks or something. It's June twenty eighth. Okay. Oh, June twenty eighth. Okay. Yeah. So the deadline's June twenty eighth. There is a deadline to submit all questions on June fifth, and I think what what we would like to do is submit that question of. Um, for a project of this nature that um, it really falls into these three categories, which grant is most appropriate? So we, we don't know the answer to that question. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So which one to apply for? Yeah, which one to That's apply for. That's your guidance. Right. Yeah. And the I, I don't know, do you have any questions for me? No, I'd just like to ask, since we have uh, two department heads in the audience, do we, either of you have any questions or comments on this? Yeah. You think it's a good idea? And you, you only apply for this if you were in the community. I don't think it so. said it said no. It said anybody could. Yeah. yeah. But if we kind of put go forward with it, then as a green community, we can. So there might be a special yeah. treatment for people. With well, there's grants available mm -hmm. to green communities. Okay, I make a motion that we uh, give the okay to um, apply for this grant. Second.
Is that what you're looking for? That's what I'm looking for. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Liz. Um, How's Rick's foot? Did he want did he out of the cast in the room? Well, so he he had his heel surgery, and today he has some knee surgery. Oh. So Ooh. He's, he's today? He's today. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> today. He, he's right. not watching he's, that TV. They're rebuilding today. him. Well, he might be watching it, but not picking up on it too quickly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like uh, Tiger Woods. He can watch the reruns on YouTube. <laughs> um, Mike, in order to submit that question to DOER, I think we have to submit it through that Combi system, which you have to log in for. Yes, sir. So could we forward that to you and yep. you submit it for us? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you gentlemen have been uh, – do we have any objection to moving them? No. Uh, moving uh, them up in the uh, agenda. On June twentieth, the next day for management. Is That's that we just did. That. We just did that. that. Both okay. The energy team, the DOR, and the grant. That was both of them. Okay. Yeah, that's no, fine. Okay. Are um, you waiting for Chip? No, they're gone. Okay. I'll let you know. Come on up, gentlemen. I know I got it from you before, but did you have it in the packet too? Yep. Uh -oh. oh, you have version A and version B. When you gave it to me, it wasn't environmental, it was just, I was looking for two pages, I think, sorry. I had two pages of the house, thank you. Good evening, my name is Woody Kamet with Kamet Engineering. Denny Hamill is our project manager, and we're working for Cottage Advisors on the Great Climbing Project and the daily parcel next to the car post. Uh, Tim Chip's been talking with the board in regards to the uh, proposed entry. Um, as you know, the car has two entrances. And what we're proposing to do under option one, we'd be building an access road to the back of the property for 34 units. And in order to do that, with the roundings that are required by the state um, DOT, and also to avoid as much wetlands as possible and the culvert that goes under 113, we're suggesting that the rounding go in front of the car post uh, property, which would affect that particular entrance. So s option number one shows the most easterly entrance being closed and the most westerly entrance being an entrance only. And a uh, driveway would be constructed to the on the west side of the car post and the parking lot of uh, 10 spaces would be in the rear. So there'd be a total of 12 spaces for the car building with access out to the uh, <coughs> proposed roadway to go either east or west. The option to that would be to close both entrances to the car post and just use the uh, main roadway entrance to the parking lot in the rear, and then the access would be over the side. We're bringing a sidewalk from Main Street all the way through the uh, property and eventual access into the town park for the public. So that would be a public walkway, and then we would build a walkway uh, to the front what entrance. What, can I ask a question? What, sure. is the, what is this area here? The dark area on option, option two, the dark area in front of the park. That's the current pavement. So you're just saying to leave the current pavement. Yeah, that's what this just shows. It leaves the, uh, leave the current pavement in okay. until you figure out so what to do with it. Close the access to the road. Okay. Correct. So the access to the roadway would be closed. Got it. What's the, what's the little, uh, is that a, a walkway? The little T-shaped thing coming off the driveway heading to the 
old parking lot? Is, is that would that be like just a, a pedestrian yeah, thing? That or would be the access yeah. from the parking well, lot. That to the this, this little guy right here. Yeah, that would okay. Be access from the rear parking lot to the front of the building. To the end of the okay. Oh, the, okay. Oh, so that's a side. That's a sidewalk. On, okay. Right. Gotcha. It's okay. Sidewalk along our okay. On on option two. Um, I'm obviously not a parking engineer, but those two areas that you have with the lines going across them, one is next to a, a handicap spot, I guess, mm -hmm. and then the other one is in the corner. Um, the handicap spot, I guess, is the one next to that one for handicap access. Yeah, you see the blue clear that is the uh, pedestrian handicap spot for the single entrance. What, what about the one in the back corner? The one in the corner is for access for parking spaces for private and open back parking. If what about if and I, and again I'm I don't know what you call these things but if you have a, a a thing in the middle that basically goes like this that would allow number five and we're currently blocked off you could add a parking spot to back up and then just drive out. We were just trying to keep the parking area as far away from the abutter as possible. You could do that. You could because that would add a add a parking spot. And then the other question is. Um, the handicap spot being where it is. I know if you're handicapped, it's difficult to move, takes a long time to walk, mm -hmm. um, and it should be located <coughs> closest to the entrance. Yeah, if the anticipation here was that a handicap entrance would be built on the western side of the, of the building at some point in time. So we could, we could for the current, because I, I currently don't believe there's access to handicap to the building. There is not. There right. is not. So no. if it was to go on the other side, then we'd, re we'd just re repaint the uh, stall. So we put, if you're going you you to keep it on the yeah, other yeah, side, you'd bring yeah, it over there. Right. Okay. Handicap access has to be the closest. Place I mean, in your, in your um, uh, plan that we saw a month or so ago, we're the, we're the, um, Lot has gone to the to the west. Um, wasn't there a was there a retention pond there, or did you get rid of that? It's still there. It's just been installed on the property. Oh, okay. So it's not it's it, that's not an issue. Yeah, that, that area there, we, we shrunk it down a little bit and reconfigured our stormwater drainage area. Okay. This requires additional parking space to move in. Yeah. I mean, personally, so, go ahead. Why did you give us two options? We just wanted to show you what the differences were. We we are recommending option two. Why? Uh, because we think number one, it has it's not obtrusive to the neighbor next door. Uh, Say the, that again. It's not obtrusive to the neighbor next door to the west. The two is. The two isn't. Hold See, we'd have Glenn. The, the Glenn, one we one we're paving more on the that doesn't exist now. No, I understand. I'm yeah. Just, I'm just trying to get. Yeah. yeah. Like and we're pulling access off of Main Street, which is a good thing, I think. So that's a good point. Okay. Um, so you need you need the town land to make this access work for you and keep and keep out of uh, and keep out of the wetlands because if you don't have this. Everything needs to be pushed to the east. That road needs to be pushed to the east, correct? Yes, we need permission from the town because that radius goes in front of the town property. I understand, but so you can't you can't push it east because then it, you start getting too close to wetlands. So we'd, we'd be filling we yeah. so we'd be filling more we'd wetlands. Be, in we'd be filling now. more wetlands. The ob the object with that is to fill as least possible as, as you can. Now, does that have anything to do? Does this have anything to do with his his permit? So would that change the number of units he would have if he no. started filling wetlands over there because no. of the open space? He can't use the wetlands. Does no, that, one of does this have anything to do with that? None whatsoever. His first unit is 900 feet up the road. Well, I understand it's 900 feet up the road, but I, I, I thought the permit was the open space permit. So he has to have. I mean, the whole site is part of that permit. He'd have That's to relocate right. more wetlands. It would be just a difference in wetlands mitigation. The open space would still be the same. The other, the other uh, point, Glenn, just let me, I'll let you know from an information point. The, the butter across the street was concerned that the 
driveway entrance be as far west as it could be, because otherwise it affects the. Can you say that at the end of that again, please? The woman, the woman who owns the land across the street, mm -hmm. where the the town property goes in on uh, easterly of her site, the fifty foot way, I believe. This, if you move the the roadway further to the east, then it's going to come right out in front of their house. Oh, I see what you mean. You okay. Have, I have it here. This is the first thing we sent. Yes. This says this says we do some drawings right. of the driveway. I mean, pers personally, I, I like I option two, two with the, when you call that the hammer, what's that? It would go into it. So, so this isn't going to affect that that easement. No, that would allow okay. allow a space for that uh, high school easement. Okay. I mean, the easement could be there. If the easement was there, they'd have to take out the parking lot and put the put the high school easement in. So, are these parking th where the stripes are? That's black top. It just it's going to have stripes on it. Yes. Okay. That's currently not what's going on. What right. if we ask you? What app? What app? Would if, you, if we ask? What we, we want more. More what? Parking? Yeah. Well, we also have to find the spots for it because apparently there's no, no additional spots in that area to see if we can afford that much space. But what if we want space going towards the interior site if we want more space? I'm just looking for the best value for the town. Yeah. Chip's looking to make as much money as he possibly can with mm -hmm. the site, which I don't blame anybody to do that. This is why we live in America. So obviously, this means something. This curb cut for the town, this radius thing means something, or you wouldn't be in front of it. It, ma it means money to, to him. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be honest. So that means money to him for some strange reason. I, I'm not smart enough to know, but all I know is this means money. So I just want to know how far he'll go. So is this the minimum one? Or, I mean, obviously this, there's, there's got to be a point where it's, this doesn't, is, it doesn't mean anything anymore. Yeah, Do you know what I mean by that? So yep. this is the time for me to work for the town or us to work for the town and get as much as I possibly, possibly can for the town. And this, we might be at that point now, yeah. or I could say, no, let's, let's hold off on this. And, you know, I want to see something with another five parking spots. That's, that's a good what, point, Glenn. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This is the Absolutely. time to do it. I don't want to do it afterwards. So what you're not seeing here is what we're talking about is the detention basin is to the south of this parking lot. And that's, to, that's to handle the roadway and the new parking lot. That eats up the rest of the property. This way here. Wait, yeah, I'm trying to figure Space out the south. Property. So mm -hmm. south is towards. I'm, I'm considering 113 east and west. Yeah, perfect. Water. No, this is uh, that's east. This is west. So I, I thinking about that property now, where this lot, the parking lot would be. It seems like it, you'd have to do fill there anyway, correct? It seems like it slopes down there yeah, to, in order to build the lot up at sort of the existing round level so it wouldn't be wet all the time. You'd have to do, you're going to have to do fill there, right, or no? To fill to the road as well as to that high spot. Yeah. And Chip? Go ahead. So you, you guys say you like option two better than you op like option one. And... Then, and then you, Joe mentioned about the access to make a space here. Obviously, that, that, that's on top of this. You like that two opposed to one because one will cost you more money. No, it because I money. think it's more acoustic to the abutter. That's what you said. I'm sorry. And, and the acoustic to the abutter on the west. West. Because of the acousticness would be... It's Obviously, right. the entrance here, and then this road is this a that's his drive. That's his driveway. That, yeah, that, what we're showing in the gray is something proposed to be a new access to that back parking lot. Yeah. Like an emergency access or a real access? That would be an access. One way. When you're coming from Main Street to go to the parking lot, you could go that way. Oh, and then come. And then exit through the. the, the would the would this be lot. more fire? The, option one would have like two means of entrance and egress, that's the only 
the, well, the difference is the, yes. the water main is coming in on the new road, and the new road is much wider than um, any of these access okay. roads would. So they're going to have complete access to the village. And as we all know, if that building gets upgraded, it's going to have to meet the new building code for ADA fire safety. Compliance and ADA and, and also fire safety. Now, I, 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 I don't know why I have a problem with not um, having access to the front of the building. Maybe it's just me. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know. And we, they might look at, make it look nicer. To me, my idea would be to look at it as a as a landscaped area and maybe an outside uh, right. patio area if that's a thing. Can I say Also met with uh, Gary Hill, the mayor, Gary and Hill. I was the uh, planning office today on the, the remainder of the project. It just came up, and Gary Hill really liked he, he, what he, I had. He's there. Oh, he's yeah. there. Yeah. There he is. He is there. He's basically. He's speak. like, I'm going to speak for himself. you want to take hopefully, yourself, Gary. Hopefully, that was what he was. Uh, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so, Gary, do you uh, do you have any comments about this? Still have some sort of a, you know, access to one so one side or the other building just for maintenance. So if you're going to have a building in the front, you you want um, some sort of a arcade over on this side of the building there. So if you renovate the building, you're probably going to need two. Both doors are going to need to be ADA. Mm -hmm. So that would give access to somebody. From, from the handicap to the back. Can I ask one question? Sure. Do you, do you plan? Yep. Please. So you like the second option better? So I parked my car here. Yep. This will be grass. The, the way to get into the building, would I, I would come around here and go, and go on this Hold sidewalk right here. Sure. On this sidewalk, and yep. then. To the building there. And then there would be obviously you know, okay. And then this would be something in here. Could be a walkway. Could be whatever it is. It is could right. Be a roof there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Right. So that's the way. The only way to get really in the building. Or if you want. Unless you're looking at an entrance over here, which is open to the public access. Or if we could maybe just have instead of having the big road. If you're gonna go up. And when, when you propose to how, how I don't I, I can't. That's one way. So that's yeah, I understand. But 15 so, feet. So okay, that's 15 feet. So you could have like a. Four foot, foot four, four, five foot, just walkway that comes around yeah, the front of the building here, or if they want to go through there. Either that, they're probably going to have to come around the back. They would. So on option two, they, you know, they would come, they would come this way, and go in here, but then have a walkway that instead of this fifteen foot here, have a five foot walkway or six foot, whatever, whatever the norm is. So you would have a walkway that comes this way around, and you'd be able to go in that way. Yeah, we have no problem. We have no problem. Because it's what you were recommending, Jeff. Right? Hmm? That's what you were recommending. You're looking for a walkway to go around the whole building. Right? No, just on one side. Preferably, I'd put it on the side the road is on. So I, I would put it on the road side. Oh, and I'd make it wide enough to drive. Well, it's it's just one, so one more thing to have to, one more thing right. to have to plow. Yeah, you got to be able to plow it. Where else would be nice to be able to just plow down. When are you looking for approval of this? When do you need it? We'd like to do as get approval as soon as possible so we can get the paperwork going for the Mass Highway Entrance Permit. What we'd have to do, um, if the board agrees to a solution, we may have to ask them for a, um, a letter saying that they agree with the 30-foot radius going in front and closing the most easterly entrance. That would be the entrance permit that that cottage advisors would be applying for, and then closing the other entrance, we would do the application in the name of the town and the town itself. Well, the what would the what would the order of things be? In other words, we don't want to close the entrances until until the new road goes in. That's, that's, that is the order of things. Okay. What the new roadway would have to be done, completed to your satisfaction, before those entrances could be closed. I'm going to, um, okay. One thing, too, um, sight lines mm -hmm. on that road. I, um, 
this is in the straight as you depict it here. There is a little turn, so I pulled out of there, what's today, yesterday, after the Memorial Day thing. To turn left? To turn left. That's hard. It's hard. It really is hard, so quite honestly, having the, the road. What you don't see, what you don't see is the, what you're referring to there is the steepness of the path. That's what yeah, you, coming, you see. can't really see. Somebody was coming at a good clip, and we pulled out. And the lot to the left is 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 high. Yeah. So yeah. so having the road, having the access, having this block, and having the access farther east mm -hmm. actually helps you coming out of here right. because you know down here where I pulled out, you know you can't really. There's something. It, it, That's dangerous. Yeah. It, yeah. it is. Well, we've had driveway. Yeah. Yeah, that lower driveway. Vanessa, Vanessa has, has the one in front. Yeah. Vanessa Associates has done the traffic study on this, and that's uh, the comment that they had. And that that new entrance onto the cottage advisor's property solved that problem. I would think so. I would agree. Yep. With you. Yes. Yep. I would agree that it would. So yeah. basically, option two with the added walkway. Yeah. Can we put this on? Uh, no, not with the added walkway. Yeah. You guys said no to my added. No, okay. there's no walkway at the there's moment. No walkway. You have to add at least one. No, there is. There's a walk. Add it too. There's a walkway. No, but but uh, but I think one directly from, from the, the parking lot along from the, the parking side. lot. This one right here, like what I said, from here to here. Oh, Either that or on one side or the other. The, yeah. yeah the, oh, oh, but you said you didn't you didn't like my idea of just you like the idea of the walkway, but not having it. You you thought having it over here would be better. But even no, you've got it snugged up next to the building. I, w I would, I was just thinking snugged up next to the building on the other side. on the other side. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't have you a handicapped person go into the road all the way up. The That's side. it's too far to make them go all the way around. Okay, so yeah. what we you, you and I were talking about instead of we were talking a long way on the westerly side of the building. Yeah, then, no, then they're, they're talking, talking about the east, east, east side of the building. Have two, you know, have the one, have the walkway. Again, less a butter annoyance too. If it's on your street. Yeah. Right. Can you put this on? Can you put this on next week for our final approval? I mean, our next meeting. Sure, if you want. Will it give you guys enough time, yeah. or are you looking for it tonight? We'd love it tonight, but I, I don't want to rush the selectmen in, in the decision. So we why not on the the east side of the Legion Building put a roadway down to the 10 feet past the front of the building just end it right there so you can use that as a walkway and in case you have to get a vehicle a in vehicle there. down there if you put an ADA ramp on the legion it'll probably start over this side and go up it, over to where the door is it, if you did that would that take out a parking spot? no we'll move it over where the other road was there's one taken out there now so that road can come on the on the option one you know what I'm saying oh stop. I see so what can you what about having him work work with Gary and get us back on the thing. You know, because I'd rather really see this rather than just say that yeah, and then approve something. Sense. Okay. I'm approving something that I didn't think I would really. But it all seems or you could approve it subject to. Yeah. I'd like but to I, I'm still thinking, uh, you both shook your head because everything needs money. So it, is there any way we can get more? And it, if the answer is no and we hit our limit, then the answer is no. And I didn't trust you guys to say that to me. But you, is there a little bit more? I'd like to try to get a little bit more. We've always just talked about crawl spaces, but um. I mean, if from the, just from a, a public infrastructure standpoint, yeah. the town is getting a lot on this deal. They're getting a connection from uh, you may not be aware of, but they're getting a lot of connection from Bright Hill to the uh, current tower. That's about over two thousand feet of walking, which will increase the pressure in this part of town immensely. So, so that's that's a so you're trying to say the, wa the water department are better negotiators than us, basically? No, it's just that they have, no, they have a worse system than we have. The court pulled them from the fire department standpoint. What, what about next, look at option two. Uh, next to uh, space one, um, there's kind of a jug handle right there. Is there some reason we couldn't at least eke out one more next to that, next to that one? You see what I mean? No, you couldn't. To do the that. east of one. Yeah, it's, it's the turning radio system would be difficult to get into. Okay. And somebody coming in would be hitting that first one. Oh, okay. I get you. Okay. That gives you at least enough room to 
move the car out and have somebody come in and go up and then that's it. Okay. See, that's the kind of space I always go in when, when it's full. I, get into I get it in there anyway. Yeah. Okay. So. So what are we? What, what are we talking about? Yeah, I was just. Watch watch. Okay, thank you. I was just going to say, do you understand what Gary was just saying? Because I just want to make sure. Why don't we just draw it on here? Can you draw it on this one, Gary? And then give it to us, or draw one for us, and then we can draw it on ours. Just go straight. Just start straight down in this end at like. Well, that's existing pavement anyway. Just start from here back. So and you want it to be what, in. Gary? Twelve feet or something like that? Yeah, wider. A little bit wider, but not as wide as the road. Just so if you had to get a vehicle down there, you could. But it's a bigger walkway. So you could I'm and think of also like. That's what. That's why I thought he had meant that. Reconstructing. We don't. We want to be. It would be so much nicer to get a vehicle to the front. Oh, you have to for deliveries or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But I like taking that and landscape the front. And with that, we'll move the van space yeah. next to it. Exactly. So everybody understands what we're going to do is. We'll add that to the drawing, but we'll move the van space next to that. Because that'll be now be your reference. Right down the side of the building where the 12, 14 foot low driveway. That's the sidewalk in there. So somebody handicapped to drive down here and go in the front. L much closer, yeah. yeah. And like you can get and get the, the right. truck and to there. And when we got a door here, so the ramp will be over here. So the Handicap spot probably could be moved over up front. That's a good idea. So, but but, but we're but that. but we're killing that space. But we're, we're it's going to be that right one. Right going to get that yeah. one back. And he's gonna, he said so that. The same that. That he said he's going to move the handicap over near that thing with the. And I'm sure this could be cheated a little bit more. Right. To get a little bit more for the next foot or two. You happy with that? This is I like that. Yeah, what Gary has. So the, okay. So if it's okay, move this. Consider voting on a conditional approval on this tonight. We'll change the drawing. And where would the handicap? Get it back to you. Well, well, we don't uh, need anything until we bring the permits in with your pre approval. But it just says at least know we've got a permit to get a get another checklist. Okay. Just for that. Good. Be so it'd be conditional approval subject to. Your uh, seeing the plan and agreeing to it. Do you feel comfortable with that or not? We'll move it over. I don't know how big the car is. No, but say it. No, it's, it's, in the long view, it's not there. I don't see what that's on there. We, we just said you could, you have to leave some space here with the deck. So I, I totally agree with you, yeah. I wish we could get more spaces. But Something I haven't done yet. So, okay, so you're trying to, how wide do you want this? 10 feet. 10 feet, say? So the parking space is now. What, what do you think? Pushing it this way, I didn't hear what what you said. What, I didn't hear the very last one. Make, make these a little bit bigger this way. Putting the handicap spot, moving it to the front. That would add another spot to it. Yeah, we'll take the handicap out of that. We're gonna We're just moving that over here and having this come around here. So we're gonna. No, but then we put one more space in the front. Yeah, it puts and this takes out all this this striping stuff. I don't know it, what the ruling is on that. If you can have a handicapped space, well, he, he, well, he sort of segregated from every everybody else, uh, you never know. There's rules like that. You don't want to. Well, you got the handicap. Yeah. Could we? No, that's Joe's idea. Could we? Because this is we up higher, so yeah. Because that would add a parking spot. Of some sort, so yeah. Put two candy caps. And then you down. know, then you're still going to have good. access to that pool <laughs> in the future, potentially. Yeah, he digs that on his own. What What about the the little? Okay, so we can so we could we can get twelve lots and twelve parking spaces in the back. 
Wh what about the little, okay, so if we bring the little uh, roadway, roadway up, to the, up to the front with a little uh, bleb at the end, is it possible that we could put the handicap space there, or do they have to be where all the other spaces are? No, it would have to be next to it. They wouldn't be able to turn around in there. That would be the problem. No, we oh talked yeah. about moving it. To be next to moving it. it to where the road, where the new sidewalks go now. Put it the next spot over, and then we'll have a, you know, just next to the place you get a wheelchair out or whatever. So we got that right beside the sidewalk that was out. That was on the front end. And that's yeah. handy for space them. here is going to be next around. the space for the the van space would be over here anyway. So it'll be right next to it, which is perfect because. Then you open the side of the van and they're right on the side of it. They're right on the walkway going up. And that X out shortest, area. Shortest point. That X out area, you know, no one will park there, so they can have access to the truck to get in and out. You can still get in and park there. See, see the little X out Oh, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, that okay. That area will be in front of the drive, so that'll always be an up place. Okay. And then that, where that parking space is will go into where the X out line is currently. Okay. All right. Well, let's, I think we should look at a drawing. Okay, let, let's, uh, we, we like the idea, I mean, see if there's any way we can eke out one more space, that would be cool, but if, uh, if it, it is what it is, yeah. Sure. We understand, no problem. We, we want to work with them, we understand it, we understand it, we understand this needs money, so we want, we're at our point to try to do the best we can. I don't know if you guys have to come back in. Well, I think maybe the best thing we can do is get the get the application. If the applications are ready, we'll just bring them in that next Matt, meeting. I assume as well. you still keep sure. those as one stone. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Sounds good. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. Mu thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so true yes, it is. Yeah. I'll, I'll take one, Glenn. I will, actually. In the old days, this would have taken like six months to draw all these things. And, and yeah. <laughs> it, it, so can we or can we not get, a, in your opinion, have a handicapped spot, parking spot at the front, up that little driveway? We could. We could hang it there. But but he said how but but he said how do you turn around? How do you turn around? Can't you put? Well, wait a minute. Is that what I would well, hold, it, hold it. If you if you put a little driveway and two handicapped spots, can't you put one of those hammerhead things that they could just back into and then drive out. Yeah, but it's on the side next to their road, not no, next to the neighbor. Not. Oh, I'm good. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Glenn. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> marble. How about marble? It's all money. Yeah. Granite. Uh, curbs too. He's not asking for this because it's going to uh, it's going to uh, cost him more money. He's asking for it because it's going to make would, more money. It would be a huge wetland if we did this. It would be yeah. a big problem. I think that's the reason why something happened with the other developer that we're going to have to 
glad that was in there before. That's good too. Okay. Um, next item is our renewal of our Meyer insurance for the 2017. Mayor, you're recommending no changes. Second. I'll make a motion. Second. No, you second. Whatever. I, I move. I move Mary's recommendation that there are no changes. Second. Discussion. I don't. I don't have any discussion. We can go through every line if you want, but I'm. I'm happy with it. We made changes previous. Uh, the last we did this, yeah. and I think we were. For the moment, I think we shouldn't mess with it. I have one. Actually, I have one question. Sorry. Okay. What's Mary? What's this uh, credit reward status? What's that? Where are you? It was an email she wrote today. Oh. No. Um, oh, is it a different, different topic? Yeah, that is a different. Topic. Oh, then never mind. I thought it was. Yeah, let's not get it. Forget it. Yeah. Remember, we have appointments today. Yeah, that's okay. I'm Bye -bye. fine. I thought it had to do with this, so that's good. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Make a motion. To, oh. um, next item, uh, there was a slight change to the animal control contract. Uh, the city of Newburyport has given the animal control officer a raise. Uh, and a, as we've been paying um, uh, part of that person's salary, they were asking if we will contribute 25% to that raise. I move to approve the addendum, addendom to the contract of the City of Newburyport and Canada West Newbury Intermunis Support Agreement for the administration of shared animal control teams. Second. And I take it we'll um, make up any deficits that, that occur in our full town meeting? We would have to do that. We'd have to. Yes. Right. We have time. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Next item is the North Shore Home Consortium. Make a motion I, I, not to accept your money. Second. Well, I I had a thought. We're going to um, uh, discuss the housing uh, plan for the uh, for the area with the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission tomorrow and um, I just wonder if I can be swayed either way I just wonder if we should leave not immediately uh, give the money back to the to the consortium May, maybe it would be of some use to us uh, to, in talking about the when in talking the about the housing plan, to, it's only tomorrow night. Well, oh yeah, tomorrow night, seven o'clock. When's the housing plan? When's it due? I'm sorry. When's the deadline the, on that? Well, the deadline on the on the the consortium money is is at the end of the um, fiscal end of the fiscal year. So well, and I, it's and on? it's it's thirty five thirty eight hundred dollars. So could we use that for some kind of study that we discussed tomorrow night, well, uh, I, don't I don't know. It doesn't hurt to hold it off one meeting. Is there anything that you want to hammer nails? Hammer nails, okay. Okay. And that's why we've always sent it back. We, we've like always we, sent it back. We always return it, it looks like, could we use it somehow? Can we use it to hammer the nails on something existing? I mean, maybe the well, see, that's that's why I wondered if we could hold hold off yeah. until the next meeting to see if it has any you use. Ask, ask those Can you help me on that? Yeah. Okay. So I I I, I ask, my feeling is that we we table it until next line. meeting. Agreed. Good thing. Next item is the um, 
uh, Pentucket has uh, lease purchased uh, two uh, pieces of equipment and um, tractor and so forth. And according to the regional agreement, I guess we and uh, the we uh, the towns and, and as be, simply because they are borrowing, the, the town has the option of uh, naysaying this particular thing or questioning it, and, and it, it takes place unless we do within 60 days. Uh, so the annual cost is going to be 16000 per year. I think that at the moment our um, contribution uh, via this two-step, I think is believe is, is at 0.24, so it, it would cost us about $3,800 a year. The only question I would have on something like this, that I would ask them if they're gonna do stuff like this, they probably have thought about beforehand. They might wanna tell us before the budget indicated to me that it was in the budget, that they had budgeted for it, but yeah. that because it's a lease purchase, it constitutes debt, and they have to go uh, through this process. It's not going to cost anymore. This isn't a, another it, charge. It's already there. So it's we a, they already put it in their budget as okay. doing it, but they, they, they need to go through this process. Because 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 debt, they have to have all three towns sign off on it. Why don't you say no to Well, that? we can't sign, not sign off on it. We have the option to hold a town meeting to, to vote on it. And if we don't hold a town meeting, the debt is approved. I don't think we want to hold a town meeting. <laughs> <laughs> because you guys don't approve it one way or the other. It has to be town meeting to turn it down. Correct. That's the case. So a town, a town meeting for $3,800. And one town can veto it. Yes, I know that. Um, well, that's already been approved. If we'd like $2 million, we'd just buy the town. But it's already, I mean, they- Or if it they, wasn't they, appropriate, we- yeah, but They yeah, already put it in their budget. Okay, I I will move to do nothing. We 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 move oh, we, we move to not do anything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't have to do anything. anything. <laughs> we don't, okay. 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 Could a town? Could a, a, Could somebody in town do that? No, I'm just curious about. I was curious about the process, not 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 about the amount. And they could vote this down. Okay. Um, I wanted to get to the. We didn't make. A, I didn't make my announcement. Uh, Tony was here, and he wanted to get right going. So. Uh, we have the first off. There's there's a couple of open positions on the uh, on the FinCom, and so any interested individuals for that committee. Um, one's a two-year position. One's a three-year position. Um, contact the um, selectman's office. Also. Uh, what is the other list? I, I believe so, yeah. One, that's okay. correct. Yeah, one, to one, one, one expires in 19 and one in 20. Uh, there's a, uh, an, op uh, an individual not seeking reappointment to the Conservation Commission, so there's an open position for that, uh, an open position on the Historical Commission, and uh, an open position on the uh, the uh, associate position on the planning board. And Mr. Chairman, by virtue of the open position on the historical commission, that would also create an open position on uh, the car post building committee and because that was what it was reserved on. Okay. And, so same person, and, yeah. and also I would presume we're going to get to this, but uh, when we talk about the town manager search, we should have, uh, if people are interested in the town manager search committee, 
they should begin to submit applications so that we can see who's interested in that and at some point in the future probably have them come in and, and talk to them. So um, we, and Mary and I talk, talked about this now, maybe you have too, but I think we should have a list, uh, just a, a current list of whatever our open positions are and post it on the website. So if people are interested in volunteering, they know what's available and we can link it to the that nice new application that Mary developed that all they have to do is if they're interested in the finance committee, they click the pin comment, it would take them to that page so they can see what the finance committee is. And then if they're interested, they could click apply, fill out the application, and it goes right there. I can go back to the, um, the town manager search thing. I guess we can start getting applications in. I don't think that's not going to hurt anybody. But I would actually, because uh, I saw it might come from people within, I would actually like our next meeting or two. Well, that's what I was going to have suggest I too. Set up a timeline. Hey, we're, we're, we're accepting applications to X, and then, you know what I mean? Just well, I, I, next a, meeting. A good timeline, and then even something that we need to maybe. I think we should formally d discuss the, not the, the individuals, but the theoretical makeup of the committee and uh, if uh, who should be on it, uh, number of members, uh, all that uh, type of thing, and also start the process of, of um, we've got some work done, but start the process of the job description. But we're getting off of track here, so but, let's. Um, can I add to you on that? Um, in the committee today and if they could mirror this bill and so they can get it through um, and give us updates periodically that would be uh, okay does it have it does it have a, a number on Amanda it does. already she has a, a six seven yeah Senate <laughs> bill two <Good>. zero six <laughs> walk it through for us, the process to get it both by the full committee, and then the same with Mary. Okay. So can I get a yes? Let, yes. Yeah. Let's just go back to what I was saying, that we can put a list on the web page and go along with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought, yeah, that's, yeah, okay. Well, there was no, no yeah. No. They just apply, it depends who applies, and then there's no requirement. We might ask them to come in and talk to us or not. You meant like, like a resume, like a requirement that you have to have. Well, anything like that, that, they, anything that they would provide to help us would be. That's on the application. Nice, yeah. That is yeah. on the application. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if it was going to stay. No. I, yeah, no. I would just get it out there as soon as we can now that we've got kind of a list, including the town manager search position, the search committee. Um, and the. Mentioned briefly tomorrow night, the, the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission is is having a workshop to, they're trying to develop a, a housing plan for the, for the whole area, uh, encompassing the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission, and tomorrow night's meeting is to see what West Newbury's community housing needs are, and uh, uh, I would encourage anyone with the interest in, in this particular issue to come to the meeting, provide uh, insight and uh, suggestions that to the to the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission and to the um, everyone there to see if we can uh, build some kind of consensus on this issue. Uh, and that's at uh, uh, seven o'clock uh, here. Um, Finally, I'd like to thank everybody uh, for all the help for the parade and the ceremony uh, for Memorial Day and went off good. Um, people did a lot of work. I'd especially like to thank Mary for doing an outstanding job. She really uh, brought everybody together. 
Very nice. Mr. Chairman, um, I'd like to have it a future agenda item and do it earlier than we'll not like that. next week. So that we, we're not we get to that yet. I know, but it, it, it's related to what I just said. Okay. About the Memorial Day parade, um, that we have a discussion about permanently keeping it indoors uh, at our <coughs> having their parade and then having the, having the ceremony indoors. Uh, but you know, but I don't want to be doing it next April or whatever. I want to. Great idea. And I, and see, obviously, the merits of that is we have planning. You know, we set the whole thing up on a Friday for our personnel. They don't have to worry about even breaking it down until uh, Tuesday. It's always weatherproof. You know, the parade goes on. There's always going to be questions having it indoors. And if we say, oh, it's too hot, it, it, you know, we're having it indoors. Okay. Um, Can I ask one question? You want me to put the open positions out on the website, including the uh, town manager committee? Is that what we're town calling manager it? Town manager search committee? So is there a purpose for this committee? If someone asks, um, how am I to respond? They're going to interview town manager candidates and we'll be defining that further at our next meeting. Why don't we just wait until we have We, we haven't even decided how many people we want yeah, why do. Don't we, why yeah. don't we wait well, till I think we would. Why? Give why? Proper, well, give it proper guidance. So if you answer. It's a search committee like if we had a finance director search committee. What's the difference? All we're doing is collecting names and we're not doing I understand. It. So what the question is how many people are going to be on the committee going it's to, it's to be determined. That doesn't, I mean. Okay, that's fine. And, and what is I the suppose it doesn't do any harm. But what? Okay. All right, so it's just kind of what it is, and it's, it's a very search, general right it's a, now. It's a it's search committee. Specific. It's a search committee to interview the town manager, and there'll be a specific charge that the committee will get after the hearing. Okay. Just point out stupid symptoms. Okay. Um, appointments for open positions and expire. Why don't we start with, um, with this with this one, Glenn? Yeah, I would just go through the whole list. So there's a lot of people that well, haven't. Which one? We're not the, 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 this guy. It's this list. Yes. Starts off with the conservation agent. You see, you don't. I'll get mine on the machine. Um, I just wanted to see if I could get it. I thought we were just going to work off on master. Yeah. 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 Move to appoint Jay Smith as the conservation agent for a term ending 
June 15, 2018. So why don't we just, with, before we say it's moved to now, in two weeks. You want to vote the whole list? Keep, go, keep going, yeah. Uh, you don't want to vote it? Yeah, but, but why don't we vote um, 10 at once instead of at random. Uh, move to appoint Brad Doerr to the Harbor Commission for a term ending June 15, 2018. David Koopman to the Harbor Committee for a term ending June 18, June 15, 2018. Move to appoint Michael McCarran as the Chief Election Officer, Town Council, Chief Procurement Officer, Records Access Officer, Ethics Liaison for the State and the Register of Voters ex officio to a term ending June 15, 2018. Move to appoint Teresa Woodbury, Director of Senior Center Housing, Senior Center and Council on Aging, Employee Wellness Committee, and Employee Management to a term ending June 15, 2018. Move out. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Discussion? Oh, okay, all in favor. Okay. Discussion, discussion. Yeah. Point. Okay. Everybody they've all been, been if they're on the sheets of paper, they've been notified and they want to serve on this committee. Well, these are all, well, Harbor. Oh, no, we may have the emergency management. Oh, okay. yeah, I got you. I understand. That's fine. Um, next one are. So we're going to have to do these individually. Yes. Real quick here. Um, have we talked individually about these? Do we still want to keep the same? Mm -hmm. We have not. Uh, do anybody. No. We have. I'm fine doing what I've done before. Me too. Good. Commissioner Sweeney, do you want to be taking that this time? Save your time uh, out here? Or? Um, so I was on the um, capital yeah. capital improvements. Um, that that's okay. So okay, yeah. So uh, I move to appoint Selectman Anderson to the CPC and the Investment Policy Committee. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Abstain. Uh, I move to appoint Glenn Kemper to the Stormwater Regulations Committee. And Cable Advisory and Personnel Committee. Second. I mean, yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. I move to appoint David Archibald to the Capital Improvements. Is website still viable or do they? Should be. It, it is, yes. Yeah. To the website committee and to the, if, in case they call a meeting, the Pentucket Regional Finance Advisory Committee. That's fine. Yeah, they don't have those meetings. <laughs> it's in, it's in, the, uh, in their, uh, what do you call it, their bylaws or whatever yeah. that it exists, but they don't call meetings. No, they used to have them. Yep. <coughs> when, when Second to that, by the way. When it rotated to grow one or stop doing it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain? Now I vote to I uh, thirty. Move to appoint Gary Bill as DPW director and stormwater regulation committee. Second. All in favor? And, and car post building committee. Okay. Yeah. And car post. There's committee shit. I don't have. Uh, well, for Gary. Gary, we do. Yeah. Gary said he would be. He sent in. A he memo. sent that letter saying that he'd do everything. Yeah. He said yes. he would Mr. Chairman, can we um, can we say two different people? I forget that uh, I'm gonna, if it's not um, said that all these um, appointments end on June 15, 2018. Correct. We, we, we're not saying yes. That. We said it at the beginning. Of right. Time. That's a, that's a good point. So unless, unless it's otherwise stated that all these appointments will be end June 15, 2018. Gary's has been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to appoint the following individuals to the car post um, building committee, Ro Robert James, Richard Atwater. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is that, did we miss somebody from that? Yeah, you're missing. Yeah. Um, you're missing um, Bart. Gary, we already did, and then you're missing. Um, Bart. And I think it's Bart. No, she quit. I know, but I, I didn't know if you. 
Well, they were the historic representatives of the House of Harpo's Committee, Bob and Amy. So uh, what let's, else you can do about it? Uh, let's see if we heard back from from Bart. Well, w w let's yeah. let's just go with what's on this list for the moment, and then. Um, we haven't we haven't done those. We can't do. This person is thing is is not. Um, what, what were we talking about? The statute on the cemetery that the board does appoint. That's in the board of law. Is that in the board of law? Mm -hmm. We we appoint that. We've done in the past. I kind of forgot the name. I just remember. I think Bob James is it, isn't it? Can I ask a question about that? Those other veterans, wait, the, okay. Margaret Spaulding, Walnut Cemetery, we're gonna appoint her. That's all it says here. What are we appointing her to? Veterans Grave Officer Board. That's, so that is the Veterans Grave Officer Board. Right. Now, who is the person we don't appoint because they're, they're all, all those are trust, the trustees of the cemetery. Yeah. Yeah, the trustees of the cemetery are private. the private, obviously, and the corporation trustees of the cemetery. Right. Is there any way, we've had this discussion before, so is there any way we can help them or do something or take them over to the trustees? They, Taking over is a... Is, is, is I don't know, but I, I'm looking... The answer is yeah, yes. Well, the it reason why I'm asking this question is because there are people coming to selection and asking like plot information and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And they want to make sure that when they pass, they think everything's in a in a good spot. These are all private organizations. Obviously, the the, the town many towns um, have control of their cemeteries. Mm -hmm. um, it may be something that you would want to look into because obviously. It's it's a getting a little bit more difficult and, and, and dealing with that. Um, as to getting them funds, we can't just donate funds to the cemetery. However, uh, we do have. I'm not looking to donate funds. I'm just trying to find. Well, out. I mean, we, 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 we are able to um, through the care of veterans' graves, mm -hmm. um, you know, give money to the cemeteries in order to see that that's done. And of course, obviously, if you're caring for one grave, you're caring for all of them. So we, that's how, how we've been done in the past. And we've given them the a stipend. About, what about the stipends about um, mowing? Is that what? That's, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah. The mowing the yeah. We give them. We give them a stipend. I believe it's five dollars per veteran's grave. But um, that's it. That's all we can do. Well, I don't know no, if we can. We I think more. we can do more. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. We can, Rick Davies. We, we've given him more than five dollars a grave. I think. Well, I mean, I, I, we. Whatever it is, is that we, we, we have that vehicle in which because we can one get one year, money. remember one year, um, I think it was Joe was here, one year, the gentleman didn't put his invoice in. Yeah. Remember? That yeah. We oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that wasn't that long ago, no. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that and was Rick Marsha. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had to have a fall town meeting so we could pay it again. Right. But that was a good amount of money. If yeah. You know it. Yeah. So well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it, it's the money that we can, that's that's the that's the amount that the town allocates for the care of veterans' graves, and that's okay. what the line item is on the town budget. And that and that is that could be raised. Mm -hmm. it, there was no driver. Well, the, well that the, I gave you the dollars. statute. There was no um, there was no dollar amount limitation on what so we, we could say. I'm, I'm not even sure. So I I thought you. I, Mike, I always thought I you said that. I always thought you said there was a state there limit, was, I, there was a, a limitation. The I remember it being five dollars, and that's how we we got it. But I, the statute I pulled out for Mary, um, basically didn't seem to have a number on it. I can double check, but you know, she had. I don't. Know. Okay. I don't, know. I don't yeah. like to get involved in places. I'm not supposed to get involved. 
but I, I wouldn't mind if the trustees of the, of the town cemeteries, if they could, if could they need help or they, something, that we could we could do something. I, I, I'm not really sure what that is, or even the authority to get it. I think, I think so. That's why I am. And then, would you guys mind if Gary and I kind of worked on something, maybe? On the cemetery? Yeah, just something that we could bring back to the collection and put posters up. Have at it. You know what I mean? Just something that him and I could work on something, maybe come back with some type of commemorative proposal that would bring the fall town meeting or start fall town meeting. Yep. Have something ready for next year. Yep. I was going to say you could dig up some ideas, but I <laughs> won't. When Margaret is well, we'll next year we won't have an update. <laughs> right. We can't. She um, shouldn't be on the list. I should probably, yeah, I would say yeah. maybe she might not be the best person to talk to. Right. At this point. So just I move to appoint Robert James as the Veterans Grave Officer, Bridge Street. Rural and Merrimack cemeteries. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote to appoint David LaPierre, uh, fence viewer. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote to appoint the following individual. Why don't we just say the list? That That's what I'm going to do. 40, why don't we just say on this list between 41 and 61? And, well, there's one on the next page. Oh no, oh, no, no, it goes down to 59 because they do change. It becomes 62. emergency response coordinator. So when we just say through point six, through 41 to 59 as, um, well, hold on. The different titles. Why don't you just say yeah, 40, I know, 41 I know. to 62? Okay. Uh, can I ask? I need to ask a question about this then. Now, 41, it says Leanne Del. Emergency management shouldn't that say director there, because yeah. right underneath is Michael Dwight. He's a deputy director. Yeah. Yes, it Leanne should be. Director. It, it absolutely should. Is the director. So I, I make an appointment that uh, Leon uh, Leon Delp is the emergency emergency management director. Through through item number sixty two. No, just say just say no. Second. She's down there. Right? Yeah, I know. So just say that. Then. All in favor? Aye. 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 I make Michael, Michael Dwyer, Emergency Management Deputy Director. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Then, uh, my, um, I make a motion that Joseph Anderson, uh, David Archibald, Paul Savigny, Michael Gauthier, Bruce Dean, Joe Zillow, um, um, Larry Caruso, Dave Evans, Dick Cushing, Blake Seal, Teresa Woodbury, Raymond Dower III, Rock, Danielle Burrell, uh, Royster Johnson, David B. Um, the fourth. Belsky, Gabrielle Cecia Ricker, Jeremy Fish, Lee, uh, okay, Jeremy Fish. Second. And all that motion was for all them to be on the emergency list. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Make a motion that Lee end up and Michael Dwyer be the emergency response coordinators. And Paul Savigny. And, oh, I see on the other page. Second. And, and Paul Savigny. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I move to appoint Glenn Closey, Inspector of Buildings, Sam Jocelyn, Alternate Inspector of Buildings, Larry Fisher, Inspector of Wiring, Wiring Thomas, whatever, Tembero, Alternate of Wiring, Stanley Crooks, Gaston, uh, Plumbing Director, Michael Magliero, Alternate Gas Plumbing Inspector, Barry McBride, Assistant Plumbing Inspector. That's a new name. He's not on this year's point. No, I know, yeah. Where he, where he come from? Who is he? Can we hold off on that? Should we hold off or just appoint him? On Barry? I never heard of him. He's not a current, uh, not on the current list. I know, but where did he come from? I don't know. How did he get on the sheet of paper? He was appointed by the board meeting. Oh. The last two years, he was on the board. Yeah. 
Can you put it on the list? Okay, he's I new. He's not, we currently have not an appointment. I know, but this is Glenn's recommendation to the assistant plumbing inspector. So if you want to have him come in and collect the cuts and give no. it to us to say, no. okay, I, 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 I finished I my motion. Yeah, 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 this was, okay. yeah, this is Glenn's recommendation. So you can second we, it. we would only second. Glenn and he would say, yeah, we want to okay. do it. Okay. okay. Moved and seconded. All in favor? I did. He did. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that's good enough for tonight. Now Thank I want you. every single page typed up in this book. <laughs> uh, you can attack like this, but you can do it fine. I'm just sending out the answer. And I, yeah, hey, whose okay. idea was that? And it's a ton of work. Let me just tell you, wow. you're not signing, but I'm. Yeah, you know, I don't know, but just imagine having to type out every single one of them. Can you imagine if you had to type it, we had to sign it, and then you had to send it? Yeah. Imagine how much yeah. work that would be. You, 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 we've okay. made it easier for you, even it's though it is. a lot of work on radio. On those silly little pieces of paper. Yes. Yeah. Do you have to use the old-fashioned typewriter on those? You still have one. Yeah. No. They don't what do you use those for? Oh, oh they yeah, you do. They fit in the printer, those little yeah. cards. cards. The police, do you use them when the, when the, the uh, house, liquor license thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so they're the cards on, are dead. They're on Microsoft Word, and I just print them out on colored paper. Oh, okay. That's what uh, the other town does, just so you know. Okay. When I get out the permits and all that stuff from other towns, they do the same exact thing. They don't use those little cards. They just print them out. You, you could do calligraphy <laughs> with a quill pen. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. okay. Agenda, future so agenda items. So they all have the same Town manager job description and committee makeup. So all of us, let's it think about how many people we want, who should be on the committee, what kind of individual. We have a minimum, minimum of twenty-one people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we said job description, search committee makeup, um, timeline, the, the, the timetable. Uh, okay, the time and table. then down the line. So those are the first priorities. But then down the line, we should also do in the next few weeks. Um, what should the initial ad look like? Because I think we should put that out so we don't have to wait for a search committee. Oh, and, and then, that, and like then we did before. Yeah. I, I, I copied some ads out of, so did I. Hey, Mike, out of the thing. Can I, can I yeah. ask a question too? Hey, Mike, can we have an executive session meeting um, uh, related to the town manager about um, setting up a, initial contracts like because we want to uh, talk about money and so forth and so on? So my compromise uh, negotiating with somebody coming in that we want to have, you know, you know, you see what I'm trying to say? If we just, we'd have to further right. refine that. You know, but you, uh, you get my point. Yeah. I see what you mean. We yeah. need to refine that, though. <laughs> yeah, refine what I said. But yeah. so if you could refine that, so we want to set up some type of we we uh, we have to do a contract for the new town manager. So we want to do that, some portions of the money aspect of it and have discussions about that in executive session of that contract because it might jeopardize future negotiations with uh, a, a town manager. Yeah, so we can set all these things on executive session and then you know, contract negotiations with the committee and our meeting with our committee. Yeah, that's it. And I think that the, 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 the judges are going to have status Like discussing money. Just discussing yeah. money. So that's what that I would like to have on a future agenda. Right. Session. And I don't know if I had said it, but salary range was on my list for, for So that would be part of the executive session. Right. That I would like to see. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we, uh, the, um, uh, planning board, the, the planning department has, has uh, received a, um, uh, a small grant from uh, Department of uh, uh, Community Housing and Community Development to uh, investigate the possibility of of uh, 
a pocket treatment plant downtown. So that was the grant that the planning board received. A uh, pocket couple, treatment plant? Well, that's the, the, not to make one, but the, the uh, basically a feasibility study, uh, in other words, Perfect. how to, for the, uh, for the business district in the sewage plant. Perhaps. Uh, well, no, 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 no. Not a sewage treatment plant, but so just a way of dealing. Of advisory that you yeah. behind there, they're all hooked up to the, a common septic system. Right. So it's not. So I don't want. It's not. A We're not talking about sewage. sewage. Right. So, <laughs> so so this is all. This has been talking about for 15 years about about the only way we could do anything about our downtown is we have so much limitation on on septic that if we wanted. Let's so so we have happen. we have the grant and the and. Um, do they want to the develop? Planning, they want to develop our downtown. No, we we want to. The the, 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 the the idea is um, the we want there's a, there's a, a consultant and the the so the planning board wants to know what people that we should that might be able to contribute to to this. Uh, well, that's exactly yeah. Simone is a business in downtown. It's a restaurant, and the one and the other one, one being one of them, is a food market. It's a big event. So, okay. what kind of individual? Just keep that in the back of your mind. What kind of individual? Who should we? In, who should be invited, or who would like to be participate in that? Um, the email. The email came in from Leah just a day or two ago. So that's. Well, they, they don't know. They want they want individuals maybe from the town. No, I'm sorry. I said no. When are they looking for? Um, I'm I'm Next assuming month. pretty pretty quickly because they have the money. Gary. Right, but the 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 consultant wants to know get input from people, and so we they the, okay, so I yeah. Definitely the business owners. So if they're looking for us to give them Well, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Business owners that are downtown and board of selectmen. Um, Maybe a resident that's in the, that area. Yeah. yeah. What about um, anything with a master plan or anything like that? Or people like that? I mean, obviously the planning board. The planning board, yeah. And, and perhaps the somebody from the board, board of, of health. health. It seemed kind of obvious, but that's what... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, we have a 61A that maybe we will have to be addressing at that uh, at the next meeting. Is, is it going through its process? The one. Well, is it in proper form? Okay. And then we have a process in place that it's going through, right? Notify town entities. So it comes back. It's gone through that process. So we can come and see it after it's gone through the process. Well, we're starting. They're supposed to give us their input, though, I believe, by our next meeting. Right. If there's a process right. in place, so that's why I'm saying. So it needs yeah. to go on. So yeah. I'll, I'll put it on the agenda. I mean, n now the, the clock is ticking. Started, yeah. Just, and, just, um, just Mary, just for history, they don't move quickly, but there's a reason why we wanted it so quickly. Because if we're going to do the process, we have to start the process. There's a lot to do in 120 days. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, there's still a lot to do. If we, if we, if, if we were actually going to buy it. If we really wanted to buy it, then we really have to do a lot of work. Yeah. Some powerhouse right. lawyers behind this. So we just need to get them used to responding financial? quickly for when it does happen that we want to exercise our rights. Right. Maybe not on this one, but. Push him. Okay, so the next meeting will be the. Do we have to vote the salary? When does the. Uh, yes, we have to do that at the next meeting. Next meeting, we have to vote the we, salary. It, it has to be done in June, and there's two meetings left in June, but if we really can't wait because the second meeting is on June 26th. <laughs> so it has to be done then. So the, I the, would the wage yeah. schedule. Employee, yeah. employee I, wage I, schedule. I, 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 I sent an email to Andy, but. 
I just to reconfirm it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you got it done right. <laughs> Not that he wouldn't, but I would hate Mary have done it yet. Yeah, and, and also because some people got different, exactly. it, it wasn't strictly the the step. It was mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. yeah. I think we have a spreadsheet on that. Show the guy as far as the rate. Yeah, okay. But you've got to double check it. Um, should we uh, perhaps d discuss uh, setting up protection for our well fields? Yeah. Potentially? Yeah. Can, can uh, Mr. McCarran explain the process so we could figure out a meeting schedule? The overlay district, you mean? Yeah. Yes. I thought we were gonna. I thought this was gonna be more later on in the year. No, yeah, it was, but I think we need to hear Mike. Uh, no, I mean, actually, it, it should be a little bit later because basically, it's just that the process is that you would submit um, a statement from you know from the board of selectmen to the planning to the planning board, and they would commence the process, and they would have a public hearing. And then you, the selectmen, would put it on the agenda at the town meeting, and it would be voted on the town meeting. And the public hearing portion of it is through the, all through the planning board. Yeah, but yeah, I understand. But there's uh, obviously time things, you know. Actually, no. I mean, there's they time things in the notice sense. and all that. It's for well, the they do. They have to give two weeks notice for the yeah, public hearing. Weeks, yeah, for the public two hearing. No, but I mean, there's no. Interestingly enough, there's no requirement that that the planning board. You know, hold this public hearing. You know, a day before the town meeting. Uh, so, but then they give recommendations as to what they want to the town. To the so board. we ask the public uh, planning board to do this. Do mm -hmm. so they don't? So do no, it. you no, 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 no. Well, they have to. They they have to give a recommendation. Or um, by not giving us recommendation, is that no, no, giving us no. recommendation? Yeah. If you know what I mean by that. Yeah. So what but if they don't have the? What if they say we don't want to do this and they don't have a public hearing? Uh, Stops that way. I have to double check, but I think that there's like an automatic kind of approval if they do it. Like if they don't do a public hearing, yeah. But you know, no, I'm just asking. I guess. So you, so you lost me, but I, I, I well, it's never that's never in, happened. There's a process in place to do this. We have to rely on the planning board to do it. To hold a public hearing. To hold a public hearing. Right, what but happens? what if they don't want to? That's what I. That's yeah. Exactly. Okay. I, I don't think you. I, I don't think that they they can do that. But I'm just curious, but uh, I mean, I'm not saying. Okay, that look, look I mean, I've just never come across that circumstance. Okay, but yes, I would say yes. But do we have an executive session meeting before that to discuss uh, potential whatever? Well, we I think we need to talk about the whole water thing in general. Yeah, but we can do that in the executive the, session. Yes, the so we can purchase of real estate. Yes. Yeah, so I would ask. Yeah. To do that in uh, at either one of six thirty. We haven't, we haven't talked about that in a while yet. Exactly. Okay, any any other items? Well, you just kind of hit my list here. <laughs> so the only, uh, the only uh, actually I had two other things. So future meeting dates, um, last year we just kind of put them on the calendar so everyone saw them. Uh, in the past, Chris had brought in paper calendars, so I'm just throwing it out. How are we going to communicate when we're, when we're meeting? When are our meeting dates? Going forward? Yes. So we we had we had meeting dates on the calendar through June. Oh, it's just that I was just wondering after what after you. June, there's no meeting dates on the calendar. So okay. So, so when? So let's um let's um. I mean, if if our, our next meeting, let's decide uh, how we're going to meet in the summer. Maybe we don't need a meeting every two weeks. Or maybe we do. <laughs> I think it depends on your stuff. Yeah, I, but we'll probably have it every summer. Yeah. Every two weeks is fine. Yeah. We used to meet every week. I mean, and then we make it two weeks. Each That's one put on the calendar and watch dates. I mean, it's it's every other week, so. Yeah, I mean, 
let's it's let's every, keep it simple. It, it, it's unless every, there's a problem. It, it's every other week unless yeah. Sunday's a holiday and then it's Tuesday. Yeah. I, I the but way I was turn on the count. Okay. Um, so every other week is two. If you if you if you want the dates, it's June twenty June twelve, twenty six, July ten, July twenty four, August seven, August twenty one, September four, September eighteen. What's September fourth? Is that what day is that? Is that Labor Day? That's a Tuesday. Oh, that's a Tuesday. Okay. So, Joe, can you update the calendar for us? No. I'm a little uh, backlogged. It was on the selectman's calendar. You, you right, on the um, Outlook? Do you agree with that, Archie? Yeah, um, why not? Yeah. yeah. I, did, no, I just yeah. did numbers for discussion. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, when they come, I don't know about vacation, so we have to wait. Um, oh. Uh, let's see if I so, every two weeks. Uh, oh, you had said, Glenn, at the last meeting we were going to send Scott a uh, letter thanking him for his service. Yeah. Oh, I forgot he about did, that. He did retire. I asked him. He retired in March. So, but oh, oh, that didn't ha happen yet? No. Okay. We should. Definitely. Definitely, yes. I mean, Mike Dwyer can provide the information, I think, personally. Okay. Can or has? Can. Can. Oh, unless he has. I don't think he has yet. <laughs> I asked for that. I just to say, hey, thank you for going, you know, congratulations to the Academy. So if you could ask Mike if you could get a text or Scott, get the information about Scott, Scott? and, and the, 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 I don't know how many, I think there's two or three that went to the Academy. Scott, so. maybe he's fire chief? Fire chief, firefighter, he did a lot fire of, engineer. A lot of stuff. Okay, that's it. Okay. Make a motion to adjourn. I think we have to adjourn back into executive. We do session. not. And Michael, it's fine. You and I are in a room with each other. For that one situation you thought? Yeah. We don't have to. Not there isn't any new information, nothing new, nothing I, new. I, I misinterpreted your email, Mike. I thought you meant we needed to do something. No, okay. No. Uh, okay. Fine. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.